No. Damn it. Welcome into another tutorial from me. Today we're going to be focusing on the incredibly good mutation that is Hauling Hero. And I'm going to be sort of showing you a couple of ways you can get this. Uh, it all revolves around using the 1.2 update stuff to make your bases nice and cozy. The benefit to having Hauling Hero, combined with a few other things, I'll admit, gives you the ability to carry a ridiculous amount of stems and grass planks. So uh, join me as we go through the really easy steps you need to take to get yourself some cozy bases and unlock that beautiful Hauling Hero mutation for your everyday builds. Trust me, you're going to want this one. It is so freaking helpful. The downside is if you uh, did what I did at the start of the video and accidentally threw your stuff off that edge, you lose a lot more than just a few. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you're going to need some sort of area to build your base. So we're going to go down the bottom of, uh, of this hotel here and get some stuff sorted first. <laughs> We're going to go down here and we're going to check out our little cozy area over this side. Now, throughout the game, you will find things and research them and it will progressively unlock stuff. The best way to check what you've unlocked is most people go into the build menu this way. What we're going to do is I'm going to move my camera down a little bit and we're going to go through the actual build menu. Now that we're down here, we can go into our standard menu and we're going to click on the craft tab and head across to the chair, lampshade, and picture thing. This is going to show you up in this top right-hand corner a little meter for defense and for coziness. This is the one we're going to be looking at right now. Everything in this section has a cozy meter attached to it. The Tonal Chandelier is one of those ones. There's a few things on this list that I've unlocked that you won't unlock until you hit level 5 coziness. And once you do, my goodness, the stuff that you get to build is incredible. But keep an eye on that coziness meter. Stuff like your um, sap sconce and your plant lamp aren't that crazy. They give you a teeny tiny amount, but you can kind of cram these onto your base, right? Doesn't matter how many you really use. The fireplace is one you'll unlock pretty early, and it's pretty cheap on resources. Four pebblets, eight clay, dry grass chunks, real simple. You can just kind of build this up and have a time with it. I've seen a lot of people use the fireplaces to make flooring, and I think it looks really, really good with the hole on the top. I think it looks really cool. Plus, it's the new option of flooring and building materials. So think about that as well. An easy way to add a good amount of coziness to your base. But yeah, everything adds, everything adds so much. Um, so take a look at that coziness meter and work out what you want to do. You could actually build something like this. Like you could make it look decent or you could just cram stuff in specifically these statues, specifically these statues because they add a ton of coziness. And the best part is these are relatively cheap as well. Now these statues aren't just like a thing you can go and unlock. You have to go and find them and they are hidden around the map. Three of them are easy to find. The other ones you got to kind of look a little bit more. So when we go back into our crafting tab, we're going to find these statues, which are down the bottom here. If you finish the game already, you're probably going to have to go revisit some of these labs. Um, you're going to need to go to the hedge lab to find this. It'll be on a table. I'm going to have a video demonstrating how to find all these statues fairly soon. As you can see, there's six. There is a grand total of eight. So I'm missing two. One of which I can't get till I finish the game. So could be a while before we see that one. Uh, but this one is on a table inside hedge lab. This one is in the haze lab in the room with all the explosions. And the Koi statue is in the little underwater section you have to take where you find a couple of diving bell spiders kind of crammed in the corner. Um, these statues are easy access early on. These ones are a little bit down the track. Okay, so keep that in mind. Like, I'm fairly certain that is from Director Schmechter's lab, and that is from the Undershed. So not crazy places to be and not super early game, but these you will find in the start of the game. These have an insane amount of coziness. And that's how we've been able to make a pretty decent base here. So get building on your bases, everybody. I want to see what you can do. If you make a video about it, please tag me. It doesn't matter where it is. Twitch, TikTok, uh, YouTube shorts. I don't mind. Show me. YouTube videos. Show me. I want to see them. That's pretty much it on the cozy front with all this stuff. If you want to carry the most amount of stuff, you're going to need four extra things 
And those things are, you're going to need the fluffy pupa hat, which you're going to need pupa leather for. Uh, and dust mite fuzz is kind of annoying, but you can go and get that uh, over near the shed. That's where you can grab those things from. You're also going to need the red ant arm guards and the red ant shin pads. If you want to carry the maximum amount, uh, that's just with your armor. You can also use the intern badge, which uh, is in a blue bottle cap in the upper yard. I'll give you a quick look on the map. It's somewhere roughly there. You'll find it. You do need a tier three axe to get access to it. Once you've got all of that, okay, as you can see, I'm wearing aphid slippers, and I'll tell you why in a second. Once you've got all that, you'll be able to carry a total. With, with maxed out hauling hero, you'll be able to carry a total of 41 stems or grass planks, which is absolutely insane. That's so many when the max carry capacity before was like 20. So massive upgrades to that, and I love it. I'm a mega builder. I need it. If you're like me, though, and you want to go quickly, because the intern badge kind of drops your speed a bit, a lot if you've used it before i take the loss of two like the the ability to not carry quite as many uh and put the aphid slippers on because the aphid slippers bonus offsets the speed decrease of the intern badge so 38 at the time and i get to go slightly quicker in doing so and from a friend of mine who's worked on this build who has transported probably like 30 40 000 stems at least probably more he went from doing the big lot, like 40 to 41 at a time, to doing 38 and being able to send a lot more, a lot faster. So keep that in mind. That's just how to carry the most and utilizing Hauling Hero to its maximum. Highly recommend getting that perk. It is one that you will only get if you like base building and you want to build bases, but it is super, super useful. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more from me, drop a sub. Drop a like, drop a comment, all the good stuff. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.